This is a short screencast based upon the web archiving tool, Web Recorder. Web Recorder will allow you to select and archive websites, entire websites. And <clears throat> it's um, it gives you a link when you're done to share with other people. So nobody's bandwidth is being eaten alive by this. So uh, uh, this is a, a web recorder, web recording from my Nuzzle newsletter for Saturday, March 25th, 2017, the first week of spring. So you simply go to the site up here, go to the URL. It's kind of out of the picture right now, but it's there. And then once you're there, you click on the first link. And it takes you to the first website. And you'll notice everything is there. Although this is a, uh, a, a site that you actually have to sign in. So I've kind of gotten past the sign in to show you this. This is a great, uh, great tool, a paperfuge, a paper centrifuge. And then you just go back up here at the top of the page. And you click on that to take you to the next site. So these are just this, all of the sites I use for my Nuzzle newsletter. Let's see if it logged in for me. Yep, it's going to make me sign in. That's okay. I'm logged in here. Go to the next site. This is about that very cool crater that's beginning to form in Siberia from the bubbling up of uh, methane from the permafrost, or what they call up there now, perma slush. And it all started with deforestation. Funny how that is. Atlas Obscura. I got this from there. And this is a website, or from Stephen Downs, I can't remember. This is a web search. This is crowdsourced web search. And you do have to install it, if you'll notice over here. You, uh, you can install this. It's free. Here, here. I just, I just chose this one. I use, and I've, I've installed it. It's pretty cool. And next, the Scholars Cooperative. <clears throat> Many of my students, when they do research, uh, if the university doesn't have it, <clears throat> or if you're just not affiliated with the university, you have to kind of slink around and try to find uh, articles that are not paywalled. In other words, they're not behind, not in the the uh, uh, invisible internet. And this is a new tool called Unpaywall. And I believe it's a, uh, <coughs> it is a uh, um, Chrome extension. I'll have to look that up, um, but it's great that there's new there are new tools that help you get past those paywalls, which is a sin anyway because most of the research that's been done is pu paid for with public money, and should be public research. And last but not least, a really interesting article by Richard Brown on something called eliminativism, and I don't understand it but it kind of rings true for me, that resonant little ring in the back of your head that says, pay attention. Okay, that's just a quick run through of the stuff that I thought was interesting for my newsletter. If you like this, just let me know at 
Kelly O W K U W P on Twitter, T E L L I O W K U W P, or just email me at terry.elliot at gmail.com. Elliot has two L's and two T's. Thanks. <laughs>